I didn't know that telling my mom I joined the army would one day lead to me imprisoning myself in my own mental health. Now I'm running around and all I can hear is myself yell. I tried to let it out using a, a dumbbell and ringing the church bell. I finally admitted, I'm not well. I can't even stand in line without seeing all the dangerous signs. I can't be in public without feeling sick. Does that make me a lunatic? How do I break out of this happiness drought? Help me, I yell, show me the route. Please, I pleaded, I finally conceded. I decided I wasn't going to lose. It's time to fight. Time to lace my shoes and get rid of this mental parasite. PTSD, you don't own me. It's time to break myself free and become an escapee. So I scratched, clawed, and fought with everything in me. Formidable opponent, like Rocky versus Apollo Creed. I was guaranteed to bleed, but I knew I had to succeed. Unlike a boxing match, this fight never ends. So I lean on family and friends, and yes, my therapist at meds. Society makes us out to be crazy, and I'll admit, mental illness is not pretty like a daisy. It's a fight. A bloodbath. Every night is another mental warpath. Lunatic? No. I'm a fighter. I am brave because my light will burn brighter remembering the days when all I was was a mental slave. Moral of my story? You're not alone. We are not alone. And I'll meet you on this combat zone. I escaped my mental health and with help you can escape as well. You are not crazy. You are strong. It's society that's wrong. You belong. At first it made me feel like an outcast. Different. Now I just kind of accept it as a part of me and learn to live with it, kind of thing. I didn't feel good about it. I kind of felt like I was a broken man. Because to me, men are supposed to be able to be strong and you know, dig down deep to overcome anything. I actually think this has made me a much stronger person. Honestly, there's a part of me that still really doesn't believe that my therapist knew what they were talking about. Um, yeah, I, I've been through some stuff when I was a firefighter, but I don't have nightmares or wake up screaming all that often. It's just really loud noises and crowds get me. So I, I don't really know if that's PTSD or not. So I'm still working on this. I still, you know, sometimes the demons get the better of me. And, um, you know, I have bad days where I just feel really shitty about the person I am, but I know that I can beat any obstacle because I've done it before. I know how strong I am now and it doesn't get me down like it used to. I don't see it as a positive, at least not for me. Maybe for my friends, when I hear that, you know, they're able to overcome their own demons, it makes me feel a lot better for them. But for me personally, no, it, it's not a positive. You've gone through something traumatic in your life and you're still learning how to live with it. Still accepting that you're not the same person you used to be and figuring out what that means. So PTSD to me is, is seeing something traumatic, but more than that, I, I think it's seeing the reality of life. It's almost like a director's cut of a movie or taking the red pill in the matrix. You're, you're shown what the real world actually is and how horrific it is. And it's almost like your mind has been opened up to that. And that's what I think PTSD is. At least that's how I think about it. Stigma. I mean, growing up, you always hear that being mental is a bad thing, and people make fun of us, they call us crazy. It's not looked at as something that can be treated like cancer can. It's almost looked at as like it's our fault. We don't get any of the sympathy. We get laughed at or mocked or told that it's all in our heads. I just think that they don't get it because they haven't been through something like it. So for me personally, yes, I am ashamed to have it. Um, I don't like talking about it with anybody. I only really like talking about it with two of my friends. And even with them, I don't really like talking about it because I feel like 
they also have it and they have a more justified reason to have it. And I, and I feel like if I'm not a strong person for them, that would just make me even more of a weaker person. And now it's time for a lesson in the PTSD flinches. Lesson one, the classic. Lesson two, the, did anyone see that? Lesson three, the, I'm laughing, but I'm terrified inside. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. Lesson four, the James Wan flinch. I don't flinch at James Wan movies. Jump scares don't scare me. Lesson five, the get down. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> And finally, lesson six, the waiting for the flinch. Damn it, every time! We done yet? <laughs>